Okay, got it. Hey guys, welcome back to Undertale. I pressed the blue switch in the room where... It's stupid, it says that going through the door isn't an exit, it's a perspective change. But apparently going back to the previous room and pressing the button doesn't actually do anything. Ah, leave me alone. Yeah, hard. God dang it. I love that whenever he's alone, he's just like, yay, I'm by myself. I'm just an introvert. Hi. He's so happy. I, I, I love the... This is such a such creative game. And then, is the next one going to be the green switch? It's gonna be right there. Because I'm amazing! I love that, the fact that, you know, this is like free money once you're nice for a little bit. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but hey, it's something. That feels like where I'm supposed to go, which means I'm going this way. Hello? Just between you and me? I saw Toriel come out here just a little while ago. She was carrying some groceries. I didn't ask what they were for. But all too intimidated to talk to her. That's one thing I... I let, me, let me talk slightly. Toriel is such a genius character, to be quite honest. Because... The game sets you up with a pretty flower that tries to kill you, and then the flower tells you that everything down here just tries to consume everything else. And then Toriel shows up, and I, I don't trust her, because the flower has me doubting everything. But she's not done anything that makes me... interesting. Hold on. Like, what is this? There seems to be a balcony overlooking a city. Is there an undercity in the Undertale? This... Just because there's nothing here I can use doesn't mean I shouldn't look at this. This is... It's almost like reminiscent of Russia. Does Undertale... Is, is Russia where you go when you die? I think it is, guys. Uh, a little bit, but not bad. I'm doing pretty well. What is this dead tree? Why do you have a dead tree in your house? She's not even mad that I completely ignored her and just wandered around. Well, I guess I should be reading this. Well, I suppose I can't hide it any longer. Come, small one. Until this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. How do I know that? Does it? Ruins home. Do you smell that? Surprise! It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie! I know I said I like butterscotch better than cinnamon, and then I said I didn't mind cinnamon. That's interesting. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Aww. So, uh, the other thing that makes me somewhat confused and concerned about Toriel is that the other people say they are intimidated and scared of her. Here, I have another surprise for you. Trap. 
trapped behind the barrier, and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. So, okay, these are the... I did watch the intro. Um, for some reason, when I start Undertale, it never starts full screen, and if you press Alt-Enter in order to make it full screen, it skips the intro. It's annoying. But I did actually watch the intro, so yeah, this is... this Undertale's where the monsters live. Far, far into the earth we walked, until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home which we named Home. As great as our king is, he's pretty lousy at names. Okay, I was like, is that really a random page? Will I get different things that I keep looking? The fires are burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You put your hand inside. For some reason, there's a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. There's some white fur stuck in the grain. Inside the cupboard are cookie cutters and ginger from gingerbread monsters. <laughs> Not gingerbread men. Stove top's very clean. Toriel must use fire magic instead. So apparently Toriel doesn't mind killing snails. Yeah, I'm gonna look at everything before I go out there. I wanna see if I can find out any clues to what's going on. Size the old calendar for the beginning of tw 20 tex. I was like, how do I pronounce that? 21x? 20 tex? Interesting. Hey, don't go down here. I have something to show you upstairs. Now that's interesting. In her basement's a dungeon. I gotta say, I mean, e even, you know, just playing this game, whenever I went down there and the, like, nice music stopped and it turned back into, like, scary purple, and the music just dropped out, it actually did intimidate me. This is it. A room of your own. I hope you like it. Is something burning? Oh, make yourself at home. So, yeah, maybe it's just me being caustic, but someone being this randomly nice to me is making me super uneasy. Inside the drawer of flower seeds and some broken crayons. Room under renovations. Renovations? It's you! Hello! So Toriel has three rooms. One is hers, one is mine, and one is being renovated? Just a regular old bucket of snails. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. He read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling bonely. As the page is filled with jokes of similar caliber. Ah, the cactus. Truly the most sunadre of, t of plants. I hope I pronounced that right. I've seen that word a lot, but I've never pronounced it. God damn it, game! It's an encyclopedia of subterranean plants. You open to the middle. Typha, a group of wetland flowering plants with brown oblong seed pots. Known more commonly as water sausages. I wonder what that's a reference to. How do I know its name is Cheriel? So that's my room. Again, I'm gonna see what I can do other than what the plot wants me to do. So she should have run back here to the... Hello there. The pie has not cooled down yet. Perhaps you should take a nap? Nah. You'd rather stay and chat with me then? Um, I want to know how glad I am to... Gl glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come a surprise to you, but I have always wanted to be a teacher. See, I, I don't know what game this game is playing, because they give me a lot of clues that Toriel isn't what she seems, but she's so nice. Like, I don't have any reason to doubt her, but everyone else is afraid of her. Um, and the renovated room just strikes me as strange. Actually, this is very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did 
Did you want something? What is it? Well, talk to me again if you need anything. I don't think I want to go home yet. Okay, I guess I'll go to my room. Will she stop me from down here again? Yep. Look at these cool toys! They don't interest you at all! <laughs> what? Are those, like, stuffed dogs over there? That's awesome! A box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. I feel like Toriel just keeps going through children. Got a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. So I took a nap and I ate my pie. Pie. I'm curious why there's a mirror outside this room. Go in anyway. Are you a man or a mi or a mouse or an amoeba or a man? called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called a regula? I actually did know that. Interesting. Well, bother me when you need anything else. Where's my education? What is it? I guess I'll ask this, because I'm running out of things to do. Interesting, she doesn't eat pie. Because that the slice that's missing is only mine. I wonder if there's going to be a new slice every time I go to bed. And if so, what happens when they run out? Okay, no, there's not a new slice every time I take it out. That answers that. Is it it's just me, or does this carpet kind of look like it's a swimming pool surrounded by spikes? It's very intimidating. Why don't I try and leave? Okay, yeah, I, I am apparently allowed to go this way. I just can't progress. I wonder what it says above the door. I can't actually read it, can I? Nope. Okay. I don't want to leave this place. This place is so nice. I have to do something. Stay here. You know I'm not going to stay here. Toriel, you're dumb. Like, immediately going downstairs. I assume she didn't go this way. Okay, I can't go in there. I was actually trying to turn on the... Why is this flower... The only thing that's colored in here. Herm. So that story also seems obsessed with plants, so why does she want a human? It makes no sense. know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. 
One way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. I'll be a good child and go upstairs. Um, no? Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You, now, if you leave the ruins, they... Oscar will kill you. I'm only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. What happens if I let her? Can I reach a, like, ending this way? Let's do it three times, see if I can let time pass. Still nothing. Did not allow me to... Uh, like, it did not allow me to let the game in there. Like, not that I would really want it to, I do want to see more of this game. I was just curious what it would do. I was curious what the re reaction, the response from the game would be. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. Well, I waited for like three nights. You want to leave so badly? Humph. You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you're strong enough to survive. I like this, um, attack 80, defense 80, knows the best for you. Ah, what is this? I'm not a fan of that at all. Ironically. Talk to us not to be the solution in this situation. My goodness. No, I don't want to hurt her. I don't really want to do this. Oriole! I am bad at this. I thought I bought a whole bunch of donuts. I wonder where they are. Wow. This is not going well. Is she trying not to kill me? Dang it, I am so bad at that. Yeah, her attacks are avoiding me at this point.
That is such a cool... I love this game so much. Like, I could go kill myself if I want to by diving into it, but she's, like, intentionally not... Oh, God. You are stronger than I thought. Listen to me, small one. If you go beyond this door, keep walking as far as you can. Eventually, you will reach an exit. Asgore, do not let Asgore take your soul. His plan cannot be allowed to succeed. Be good, won't you? I'm so- I did- I thought I, she would like stop- No! I'm doing that again. I'm sure that if you get low enough, she won't... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that again. That's super interesting! The game actually, like, kept track of the fact that I went back in time and cheated. Aha! <laughs> That's how you do it. Well, okay, I, I wish you'd stop noticing that I'm not attacking you. God dang it, Toriel! Toriel! There we go. This is where she starts not wanting to hurt me. I wonder how often I have to keep doing this, although that's a super interesting mechanic and a super interesting way of doing things. So I wonder how long I have to keep doing this. This kind of reminds me of the, of, uh, there's a moment in Suicoden 2 that's a little bit like this. I'm not going to go into more detail, but it's, it's awesome. Okay, still can't do anything there. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I 
know we don't have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. I actually can't do that. It won't let me leave. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I can't save even a single child. No, I understand. You'd just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins is very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I won't stop you. However, when you do leave, please don't come back. I hope you understand. Portorial? Goodbye, my child. Well, I'm definitely going back and saving. That's for darn sure. That's for dang ding diggity sure. Here's what happens when you talk to her, if anything. I do feel sorry for her. She just really, she seems to just really want company. And I'm a jerk, but no, she, she's left, left. Well, guys, that will do it for this episode. Next time, we go through the door and leave the ruins. And we have to... Uh, Avoid Mogor, although I'm sure we won't be able to avoid Mogor. <laughs> See you then, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. This has been Damiel, SC, and this has been Undertale. <laughs>